on our side. Mostly. The boys in the church are overrun. We need to push through. Keep me eye on counting. Use the MG! Switch the ground! Keep going, driver!
Once in a while, we push hard enough that the light breaks through the clouds. It's in a world beyond the war glimmers. Just out of reach. The war is the world. And the world is the war. But behind every gun sight is a human being. We are those people. We are the jaded, we are the naive, we are the honorable, and the criminal. We are the bound for legend, and the lost to history. We are the knights of the sky, the ghosts in the desert, and the rats in the mud. These are our stories. Papers. Don't worry about me, sir. I'm ready to do my bit for King and Country. Listen, son, you find forward and reverse when you're told you'll do all right for me. Grab those, would you? Come and meet Big Bess. Woman of your dreams. And our new driver, boys. Like it when you swear, Finch. Hey, dudes. I've done this before. Done what before? Mind your business with manners. Listen, don't worry. She'll look after you. Yeah. All right, boys. This is the big one. Our orders are to punch through the German line. 
destroying artillery positions as we go, Fidget. Yes, sir. After that, we'll advance on the French town of Cambrai, where I have been assured there is wine, women, and song. So you should enjoy that. Ha, my man is wine. Jesus. Are we in safe hands or what, boys? All right, my boys. Remember, boys, do your jobs. Take care of each other. Big Bess will take care of you. May the Lord have mercy on our souls. We'll get through this together, right, Edwards? Right, sir. Full ahead, driver! every feather off that damn... Easy there. That pigeon could save your life. It's our only line of communication. Get up there, Edward. Yes. Starting to get the hang of it. What'd you do back home? Drove. My car. I was a chauffeur. All stop. This is far enough. Infantry will go in the first whistle. Then we follow. Heavens above. You ever seen anything like this? I have. I'm sorry to say. Listen, we're going to cut down the guns up by that windmill. Give our boys some room. That's our cue. Pull our hand. Thank Edwards. Don't get us stuck in the mud like that. We got one of ours! Ice front, dry! Finch, what's the matter? 
Get them ready for all that coming in. Keep your eyes open. Someone pick that tank apart. Tank killers. The Germans got tank killers. Good shot. Quickly, shut down that gun. Shit! 
Officer, I can't move her! Come on! Come on, man! I can't! Sure! Hedgehog! Hey, you two boys, you're gonna get us all killed! Head was behind you! Boys, nice server with you, lads. First, you reckon? I'm sick of your lip, McManus. Aye, aye, sir. Yes, we'll start it up. see more than 20 yards. We're pushing through. Edwards, I'll drive. You jump out and scout ahead. Don't be a hero, lad. Just do your job.
Let's all get through in one piece, eh? If you get into trouble, we'll be right behind you, lad. Get up front and lead us through. Don't get too far ahead. Listen, son, I know we're asking a lot here, but this job needs doing. Find us a path through those woods. Watch yourself, we'll deal with this. Thank you. 
that one, Edwards. We're nearly out the woods now. Have a look at Bess. She needs some love and attention. Have a look at Bess while we have the time. She needs fixing up. We're good to go! That'll do it! Well, according to the map, we should soon be out of these sodden boots. We need to get across this here bridge and then... On the bridge! Germans, let them have it! Hey, get a move on! Germans have our reach!
in and drive, Edwards. Let's get out of here. Right, 
That was outstanding, Edwards. You'll have yourself a medal as we get through this. So she needs new spark plugs. Check. Check how far that village is. Can you see it, son? Can you see the village? Yes. Yes, I see it. And what about our tanks? Can you see any of our tanks down there? Edwards? Yeah. But they're not ours anymore. Sounds like whatever best needs is down in that village. All right. Let's go, Everett. Let's go. Good luck. going nowhere and he'll be dead by morning. We're fucked. What is it, you? You're just going to abandon him, are you? Don't you get it? Finch, Pritchard, all of us. We've been fucked all along. Look, if that's what you want, McManus, then just go. Don't you ever talk to me like that. I've run more fucking missions than you have had hot dinner, son. McManus, just fucking go. Well, so much for we're all in this together. All right. Find the parts, get the tank running, don't die. This one. One down, free to go. Wir hätten einfach eine Mauer durch ganz Europa ziehen sollen. Dann hätten wir uns das alles hier gespart. Kannst du das? 
all of them. They're about the best.
I lost my way back there. There's no right way in a place like this. We'll find one. You're the driver. Ah, oh, nice work, boys. Uh, yeah, we did good, didn't we? Aye. Right, sir, that's the last of them. Let's get on moving. I've done everything right. Everything. My whole son in life. All I've done is live my life by the manual. By the manual! What's wrong with you? You stupid. You stupid. Stupid bloody machine! Now come on! Come on, Bess! Pull yourself together and work me in! Fuck's sake, I thought you liked a bloody well! Together this long. Let's not fall apart now. Old Bess has got us this far. And she'll get us all the way if we do our bit.
tracks. There's a train yard on the other side of this hill. We're looking for a main road just past it. to retake Cambrai. It's very true. And what? Let them surprise everyone at the rendezvous. So what's the point? We have to take the initiative. If we hit them hard and fast here, we can make a difference. Let's bloody do it. Right. Keep moving. Keep them controlled. And off balance. And let's hope they don't realize we're on our own. Take that, you bastards! so we can hit them when they arrive.
so bloody tough now, are they? Keep your neck up. Stay focused. That counterattack wasn't as stiff as it could have been. There'll be more to come. Then we dig in here and fight. Let's get Bess doing what she does best.
I have nothing left to bet, you idiot. The plane. <laughs> That's rich. Uh -huh. Oh, why the hell not? I've got you beaten anyway. Uh, yeah. What have you got? Hmm? <laughs> Wipe your mouth, Blackburn. That wasn't supposed to happen. But you know, I'll be taking that plane anyway. What the bloody hell? You lost! I beat you! Mm. The thing is, Rackham, it's a very beautiful aeroplane, and you're kind of a jackass. I beat you fair and square, goddammit! Stay the hell away from my kind! <laughs> oh, you bastard! You can't do this to me! I beat you! I beat you! My name's Clyde Blackburn. I'm a pilot and a gambler. I'm George Rackham! I'm George Bloody Rackham! Listen to me! You bastard! Keep off my aeroplane! If you asked me to name my biggest fault, I'd have to tell you. I'm just not a very honest person. Welcome aboard! I'm Wilson, by the way. You must be George Rackham! Sir, sure, I'm Rackham. I'm your guy. Blood! Let's get this kite up in the air. You're George Rackham, son of the 4th Earl of Windsor. That's right. Hip, 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 hip. Hey, back there. It's a great day for a picnic, don't you think? Right, you see that plane up ahead? You need to catch up with it. Yeah, yeah. So listen. I know this little French place, maybe we pick up a couple of girls. What are you talking about? Girls! This is a test flight! You need to follow the route that plane is setting for you! Okay, you're the boss, apparently.
It's Wilson, and pay attention. Eyes forward. Good flying, though some of it wasn't exactly by the book. So toss the damn book and live a little. Where's he going now? Leave him. See those target balloons? Weapons check. Fire at will. I can do that.
Turn back! Ah, to hell with base! <laughs> accidentally discovered where Germans were keeping their munitions for half the Western Front. And Wilson's pictures would help HQ launch a major assault. There was just one problem. I'm not sure about this. Oh, come on. We did a great thing. We'll get medals for this. We weren't even supposed to be there. When the commander sees these pictures, he won't care. We did a great thing. We can do it again. I'll make you a deal. If we pile up on this, then you need to promise me that you'll get me back in one piece. Sure thing. Promise. I need your word. Okay, I promise. Stay here. And don't cause any trouble. You know, I did like the guy. But he was kind of naive. Sir, you might want to take a look at these. Saints alive, your man must be one, one hell of a man. Before we knew it, we were back in the air. Our mission? To clear the way for the bombers so they could blow that fortress all to hell. First, we'd have to down the barrage blimps. Jesus, imagine being a lookout on a blimp. Bad luck, Fritz. Next, we'd have to deal with their anti-aircraft trucks. The assault was already in full swing when we got there. We'd have to deal with all those defenses, then escort our bombers to their target when they arrived. Tall order. But victory here could change the course of the whole damn war, they said. Safe to say, Wilson is less than Now we're actually doing this in field. Really dangerous. Trust me. And buckle yourself in, baby. Down those blips! Clear the way for our bombers!
fortress on this mission is bust! I know, I know!
The bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. I'm just gonna say I've had plenty of practice moving quietly. Out the back of bars, bedroom windows, you don't need the details. Anyway, once those Germans were gone, I put my skills to work, heading west towards the British front, quiet as an alley cat. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin, all spoiling for a fight.
lucky day. The Brits must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets instead of shelling the Germans. I had to get through to our side before those guns started up. Those trenches were packed full of the Kaiser's finest. Hopefully, most of them will have the trouble coming the other way. Hopefully. and German machine guns at my back kind of encouraged me to keep my head down. No Man's Land was a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. But I held my course. Did anything survive the crash that might be useful? Sorry. Well, you promised to get me fucking one piece. Just keep it down. 
What about medals? What about being heroes? I'm no hero. But, but you gave me your word, your bleeding word. So either you're a decent bloke who's gonna help me, or you're a lion, no good bastard. You'll look me in the eye and finish it! Blackburn. <laughs> You're not George Rackham, are you? Son of the fourth bloody Earl of Windsor. <laughs> I'm not even, do you think I am? Oh. Uh, Let's get out of here. Losing a lot of blood. I didn't have much time to get him back alive. Uh, this is your fault. See him? The Germans are already known for their blood. They did everything they could to catch us. Wilson said I was a no good, lying son of a bitch. I brought him home because I think he's probably right. And I hate that fact more than I can tell you. This guy's a bloody hero. No, he's nothing of the sort. He's a cheat, a thief, and a liar. And he'll answer for his crimes. That's right, Blackburn. to the farm, are you? I'm going to speak up for you, you know, at the court-martial. It might do you some good, it. but... Thanks. Wilson, with me! I need a gunner! Over here! I'll, I'll do it! Rackham, let me help! You don't deserve to fly! Wilson! If I'm going to die, I'm going to die up there! Let's do this. You sure you don't want to sit this one out? Not a chance. You owe me a bloody medal. All right, I got this. Are you with me? Of course I'm running with you. Right, on their way, I'll come. 
selfish man who risked his own life to save another, and in doing so, found he was saved himself. Things get mixed up in wartime, though, and you'll probably hear other versions. A rogue pilot who stole a plane, who killed his buddy, then lied, cheated, and murdered his way across half the Western Front, only to escape court-martial in the chaos of an air raid. But don't listen to any of that. What you heard from me is the truth. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. Would I?
Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. But don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. The church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first.
Andiamoci! Stiamo lì addosso! There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Matteo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. Avanti, carica! The gun was manned by 
Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh, God. Matteo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. find Matteo. He could have been anywhere.
It started with the first thing that came through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. I needed to save them. Before we saw them, armored vehicles coming from the enemy fort. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. of will we took out their firepower. The lodges were safe and I had to move on. You never said was Matteo in those lodges? No. The men said his unit had made it further up. Into the fort. I could 
ladder goes through the underground tunnels, or above them, by circling around the back. Oh, through the front? I no longer had my armor. It was impossible. wasn't there. I still think about that field. Every day. He never got older. And here I am, still.
Who decides such things? Buon compleanno, Matteo. Frederick Bishop? Oh, God. Hey, are you Frederick Bishop? Nope. He's dead, sorry. <laughs> but uh, isn't this your picture? I suppose so. Jack Foster. I'm your new charge. No, you're not. You have to take this kid off me. <laughs> of course not. He came all this way just to see you. Frederick Bishop, the pride of Australia. Been lied about his age to get past conscription. You know Morse code? Yes. Follow me! Disaster. Our first wave didn't stand a chance. Look at all their defenses. How can we take the beach? We had the dreadnoughts this time. Plug your ears, kid. It's gonna be loud. Send these coordinates. Command only after I fire the signal flare. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try to stay out of trouble. I have to get to the top of the beach. Death is famous. Move me! Move me! Move me!
Send up the flare. Fucking kidding me. I'm gonna be dead. Look! Look at that, huh? Kid, you lied your way to hell on earth! You just... You just wanted a statue of yourself in your town square. I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm going to die. No, you're not. You're Australian. We're impossible to kill. Yeah. I guess so. Unless... Not a Kiwi, are you? <laughs> no. First things first. Yeah, come on, stand up. Follow me. I'm in here. Yes, I'm out. Butt into your shoulder. That's it. Cheek against the butt. All right, that's it. Point it where you want to shoot. That's it. Okay. Get your feet apart a little bit. I was beginning to think I already lost my Australians. Not you, the boy. We need a runner for the front lines. Really? No. Yes. No. You can't make the kid do it. You just stumble into a firefight and get killed. No, no, no. I can do it. No. I'll do it. Fine. 
You're here with me, and you, you will be running. I need to find a way past those autumn.
kill me. But I didn't. No, sure fucking didn't. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, well, you know, I just kind of saw him out there and I... <clears throat> you got fallen lines across the board. <sighs> That's what I thought. Bishop, go tell rear command that we'll be moving up. Hey, don't worry. I can handle myself here. Head down. Cut up. No open areas. Got it? Got it. Gotta to get to rear command. As they didn't hear from a runner, the Allied position is lost. Artillery fire ordered to cover retreat to beach, shelling the village and outlying forts. Shit! Foster! Fucking Brits, shelling their own position to cover a retreat. Shell the village in the fort to cover us. We need to get out now. Oh, I, 
I sent men out to secure the fort. A dead man. Who went? Only those who volunteered, so naturally, all of them. Fucking kids. Well, you remember being his age? Foster. Fuck. I gotta get that kid. Go. I'll pretend I didn't see you. This isn't on you. Of course it is. One more death for me to live with. Go, go, you don't have much time. Storming a fort by myself, and I called Foster an idiot. Sure, you didn't just want to shoot me? Come on. Let's get you out of here. This place is about to come down any moment. No, we can't leave. There are still hostiles coming, and we can't outrun them with our wounded. You get going then. I'll cover your retreat. The bishop is still. I'll make it look like I'm capturing the fort. It'll be enough distraction. Once you get past Allied lines, send up a flare. Let me know you're safe. I'll make my retreat then. Oh, so you're disobeying orders now? Well, I assume you did to come here. Yeah. Yeah. You're a proper Aussie now. Gotta look the part. Right. Up and at him, lads. Let's go. This is it, I guess.
this up.
the Arabian desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. <coughs> the tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets.
fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. Ahmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Oh. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, oh you animal! Zara! Oh. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. All right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this Iron Dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. The Bedouin treasured their horses, and in return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed and mobility.
We were putting a great deal of trust in Zara's capabilities. But I had complete confidence that she would carry the day. See, the message had already been sent, my dear. No, not the message you would have wanted. Elorens was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... the train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. of Arabia dies tonight. <laughs> Away just in time. Till Kitchy was a fool to think we'd ever stay after he escaped. The carnival won't stop hunting us. No, it won't. Let me think. The train's coming a long way. So it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries, then rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may set off those explosives and find you're out there all alone. You know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. Yes, no.
man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. Once Zara secured the town, a trap could be set for the arriving train.
vengeance can be a sweet or bitter brew. How did you find it, Dara? And you're right, we do need to think bigger, act bigger. Maybe even the Suez Canal. Tell me, what do you know about battleships? One day, all this will be over. The war to end all wars will be won by one side or the other. The guns will rust, grass will grow, and there'll be nothing left of any of this. The land will heal itself, as everything does in the end. We'll be long gone by then, but maybe not forgotten. History only remembers one in a thousand of us. And the future will be filled with stories of who we were and what we did. How we lived, how we fought, and how we died. When this is all over and the war is won, they will remember us. But until that day comes, we will stand. We will look death in the eye. And we will fight.